Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Friday, the 13th of April, the 28th day of Nisan. So before I proceed, that means that Shabbos is the 29th of Nisan. Rosh Chodesh, the last day of Nisan, is going to be the 30th of Nisan on Sunday. That's Rosh Chodesh. Second day of Rosh Chodesh, the first day of ER, is going to be on Sunday night, Monday. And yeah, so that means that this Shabbos, it's going to be Birkas HaChodesh, the special bracha that we say uh, right after Yikum Purkan, at the beginning of Musaf. We'll say the uh, special Birkas HaChodesh for the new month. The announcement that they'll say is uh, Rosh Chodesh, Ihar, Yihyeh, and they might say Machar tomorrow, Vayom HaRishon, Vayom HaSheni, because Rosh Chodesh will come out to be on Sunday and on Monday, and just be... Um, aware of that. Now back to our regular laws. We're on the laws of sowing on Shabbos. Most of you, of course, don't do regular sowing on Shabbos, but we have other ramifications to consider. Here's one of them. If you have a cut that's, you know, not so serious, you're not in danger or whatever, but you want to put a gauze over the cut and then you want to attach band-aids onto the gauze to hold the gauze pad over the cut, um, that's considered a bit of a problem because that band-aid might stay almost permanently attached to that gauze because a lot of times what people are going to do is lift off the whole thing and throw it out afterwards so that that band-aid will stay permanently attached to that gauze and you're not allowed to permanently attach one thing to another on, uh, on <laughs> Shabbos. So it is a bit of a problem to attach gauze a band-aid onto a gauze on Shabbos. Probably your better solution, if you have to, is try to have uh, available or in your house or prepare in, a, in advance. They make really big band-aids, you know them, that are big squares, so that if you would have to put on one of those, that's just a band-aid thing, stick it onto your hand and take it off of your hand and you're done. And that's probably a better way to apply a bandage and dressing on Shabbos. Then we get into the interesting question of does tofer, does sewing actually happen right smack dab on a human body? Uh, like as in stitches or butterfly bandages. So uh, postkim kind of argue that most postkim, most rabbis seem to lean in the direction that tofer sewing on a body, on a human body, doesn't really apply. But we like to not give the impression that we're doing that. So uh, the, one of the first questions would be if, if in a minor cut situation somebody wants to put on one of those butterfly bandages that are like, that's the step under stitches. You just have a nasty cut and the two halves are held together with a bandage that's a butterfly bandage. Rav Belsky allowed those to be used on Shabbos. So you could rely on that, of course, and put on a butterfly bandage according to Rav Belsky's uh, permission. Actual stitches onto a cut on a body uh, on Shabbos, if God forbid you get an injury that needs stitches. So first let's put out the most important thing. If it's dangerous, then of course you got to get it done. But the thing is, what if it's like, you know, not really dangerous, it's just like a nasty cut and, you know, what are you going to do? So if you're not in an emergency rushing right there to the hospital, you know, and you have no time to think, if you do have some time to think, maybe just ask the rabbi of your community or your shul or whatever, I have this situation, I might go over to the hospital this Shabbos afternoon for this cut, I'm hearing that from the Hatzalah guys that I might need two stitches or something. Confer with the rabbi, because we don't like to have those stitches done on you on Shabbos if it didn't have to be done. We do want it done on you if it has to be done. So get some good, serious consultation with your rabbi and maybe the doctor too, about if stitching needs to be done on Shabbos and it's not an emergency. Okay, I, I'm sorry I'm not giving you a clear answer on that, but that should be spoken, you should speak that out with a someone who knows halacha really well and who sees your situation. I happen to know, not a halacha, but, but I do know that stitches sometimes can't wait like a full 24 hours, and so sometimes you're going to have to speak to the Rav and say, you know, it happened Shabbos afternoon. Should I wait till tonight? Is there no time to wait? Um, do consult with people who know before you just rush to have stitching done that maybe shouldn't have been done on Shabbos. And I also don't want you to miss stitching that should have been done on Shabbos 
if you were in danger. So I hope that you'll be able to ask this to good, competent, you know, Orthodox Jews and Hatzalah guys who know what they're doing and get a good, clear statement before you just say, oh, yeah, give me stitches. It's a bit of a question. Please clarify it if you can with those who know. Okay, sorry that I couldn't give you a direct answer, but every situation is different, and if stitching its issues come up, uh, God forbid, then do discuss that with competent people. Thanks for logging on. Have a great Shabbos, and have a great Chodesh that's starting right after Shabbos, and log on again on Saturday night, Sunday, and Monday. I'll probably uh, mention Rosh Chodesh again for you and more laws for the week. Good Shabbos, good Chodesh.